The slope of a line is a measure of the tilt or angle of the line. The slope can be calculated by finding the ratio of rise to run as we move from one point to another on a line. We often abbreviate slope with the letter M. If a line passes through the points x1, y1 and x2, y2, then the slope of the line is given by m equals rise over run, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The rise and the run are labeled on the diagram, the rise in red and the run in blue as we move from point to point. We're moving from the first point x1, y1 to the second point x2, y2. So let's see some examples. Calculate the slope of the line passing through the points 3, 2, and 7, 5. Sketch the line and interpret the slope in terms of rise and run. So using that slope formula that was given on the previous slide, we can think of the point 3, 2 as my, that would be my x1, y1, and 7, 5 as my x2, y2. So then the slope m is equal to 5 subtract 2, I'll put everything in parentheses that I'm substituting, over 7 subtract 3. 5 subtract 2 is 3, 7 subtract 3 is 4. So the slope is 3, 4. Now let's plot the points and draw the line. So if I had 3, 2 and 7, 5. There's the two points. If I draw the line through these two points, notice how as I move from point to point, the line rises three units. There's the rise of three and runs four units. All right, so we have a rise of three run four. Let's see another example. through 4, 2, and 10, negative 1. Same basic idea, though. 4, 2 would be my x1, y1. 10, negative 1 would be my x2, y2. Then m would be equal to negative 1 subtract 2 over 10 subtract 4. Negative 1 subtract 2 is negative 3. 10 subtract 4 is 6. Now we should reduce this fraction. Negative 3 over 6 is negative 1 half. Right? A negative divided by a positive is negative. Plotting the points, 4, 2, and 10, negative 1, and drawing the line through the points. Now, it's a little tougher to see here, but notice that the line, instead of rising, the line's falling. The line falls 1, so we can think of that as a rise of negative 1, or fall 1, and runs 2 units. So, our interpretation of the slope we can think of it as a rise of negative 1 over a run of 1. Another example, through the points negative 2, 6, and 7, 6. 
negative 2, 6 is my x1, y1. 7, 6 is my x2, y2. Then the m would be given by 6, subtract 6, over 7, subtract negative 2. 6 subtract 6 is 0. 7 subtract negative 2 is 9. 0 divided by 9 is 0. It's neither positive nor negative, it's 0. Let's plot those points. Negative 2, 6. And 7, 6. Drawing the line through those points, we get a horizontal line. Notice the line does not rise or fall. So this line does not rise or fall. Let's see one more example. Uh, same basic idea through the points negative 3, negative 6, and negative 3, 2. All right, negative 3, negative 6 would be my x1, y1. Negative 3, 2 would be my x2, y2. So then the slope, m, would be given by 2 minus negative 6 over negative 3 minus negative 3. 2 subtract negative 6 is 2 add 6, which is 8. Negative 3 subtract negative 3 is negative 3 add 3, which is 0. And 8 divided by 0 is undefined. So this line has undefined slope. Now if we plot those points, negative 3, negative 6, and negative 3, 2, and draw the line through those points. We see that we have a vertical line. Notice that this line does not run. It does not move at all to the left or to the right.